It'd be funny if we just died there. These birds are loud. So what's with the all the just filler walking? Oh, hello. All right. Exactly one door is correct. All right. This door leads to bacon. The other door leads to death. One of these doors leads to bacon. The other door leads to death. Well, this is more general, so it must be correct. Therefore, this is probably false. Because this may or may not be true. This one must be true. The first sentence, one of these doors leads to bacon, and one of these doors leads to death, is correct. Has to be. So. Wow, that's loud! Yeah, this doesn't look like Firewatch anymore, does it? No, this is doors. We are making decisions. One of these doors is wonderful. Delicious bacon. At some point, eventually. The other door is deadly. Oh, hello. Exactly one door is correct. The correct door leads to bacon. The incorrect door leads to death. This door leads to death. The other door leads to bacon. Well. This one says the correct door leads to bacon, and the incorrect door leads to death. But... It could be. So, for example, if this door leads to death, so if it's telling the truth, then I go through this door. But if it's lying that this door leads to death, or death, then this door leads to bacon. They can't both be correct. But this is, this is just a factual statement. It is correct. That one will do. But it doesn't say I have to go through the, the, the truthful door. Just that one of them is truthful. So I'm going to go through here. And die, apparently. So that's good. That's nice. Learning. Ah. Doopy doo 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 doo. This is a waste of time. Why don't we just go straight to the doors? Wait, are we are we back a step now? We are. Okay. Jesus. S achievement unlocked. Slow on the uptake. Great. Love it. Perfect. How nice of you. Hmm. All right. Well, we've seen this puzzle. We know the answer. Jeez, that's loud. At least one door is correct, so both may be correct. Bacon leads to happiness. This door leads to bacon. The other door leads to death. Both doors are correct. Bacon does not lead to happiness. Well, first of all, we know that the top statement here and the bottom statement here cannot match. So only one of these is correct. Therefore, both doors cannot be correct. But also, it is a simple fact that bacon leads to happiness. So... Double answered. All right. Either both doors are correct, or both doors are incorrect. Each door leads to either bacon or death. Both doors lead to death, or this door leads to bacon. Well then, if either both are correct and both are incorrect, I assume then... Well, it says each door leads to either death or bacon. Both lord, both doors, I assume, cannot lead to death, so that would be false. So both are false, so this one does not lead to bacon. Oh, oh, this is much better. Yes, yeah, straight to the puzzle, thank you. Two doors are correct. 
One leads to bacon. The other two lead to death. The green door leads to bacon. Two are correct? Okay. The red door leads to bacon. Well, you two are incompatible, so one of you is lying. The red door leads to death. Well, okay. So, if then, the green door is lying, then blue and red are correct, because that would mean red leads to death, and only one can lead to bacon. And the green door is the door to go through. Cool. Oh. Well, I guess there's more walking. Oh. Never mind. Just kind of constructed for no good reason. Can I walk out into this wasteland? Is that a thing I can do? No, it's just kind of here. For some reason. Okay. At least one door is correct. The correct doors lead to bacon. What is with this wind? That's irritating. All three doors are correct. The blue door is incorrect. The red door is incorrect. At least one door is correct. Okay, so they can't all be lying. Correct doors lead to bacon. Okay. So, because these are saying that something is incorrect, then this cannot be correct. The blue door, or the blue door here, says the red door is incorrect. That is a fact, because these cannot both be correct, because otherwise that is incorrect, and then that is incorrect. So therefore you're wrong. All right then, blue door it is. Now we in a cave, for some reason. This is no more significant than the desert, but at least it's not as noisy, so I'm down. <laughs> ah, all right. Exactly two doors are correct. One door leads to bacon, the others lead to death. This door leads to death. Okay. The incorrect door leads to bacon. Okay. The green door leads to bacon. All right then. Let's see. So, exactly two doors are correct. Hmm. Okay, so, supposing these two are correct. This door leads to death, okay, so we don't take that door. And the incorrect door leads to bacon, meaning we go to this one. That would mean this is false, because the green door leads to bacon, but it's correct, so it leads to death. So, let's do blue. Sweet. Night Fox, don't you dare. Spoilers. <laughs> For the people who just showed up. Ah, uh, at least one door is correct. Okay. At least two are correct. The green door leads to death. Exactly three doors are correct. Okay, these two are compatible. This door leads to bacon. Fewer than three doors are correct. This door leads to bacon. Okay. So, let's see. So, the yellow door and the blue door are not compatible. Because this says exactly three doors are correct, but fewer than three doors are correct. So, these two are wrong. Or at least one of them is wrong. At least two doors are correct. The green door leads to death. So, 
if you are lying, then the green door leads to bacon, which is fine. I'm actually okay with that. You know what? Let's just go to the green. Well, c'est la vie. How far back are we? Oh, okay, sure. Okay, well, if then exactly two doors are correct, meaning red is correct and blue is correct, then this door leads to bacon. So, having eliminated this possibility, that one's easy. It isn't real. Whoa! Ah! We've had enough of the creeps game. Can can we just can we just relax and have puzzles? Is that too much to ask? All right. Exactly one door leads to bacon. One door is correct. One leads to bacon. The other leads to death. Cool. You will choose this door. The door that you will choose leads to death. Okay. So. If this door is correct, then I go through this door, and this is false. If I go through this door, then I die, and I won't choose this door. Which means this is true. Or, wait. Right. I misspoke there. Anyway, we go through the red door. Well, thank you, goat. I appreciate that. Glad you decided to change your mind about me. Exactly one door is correct. One leads to bacon, the others lead to death. All right. So let's see. You will choose this door. The red door is correct. Well, in that case, it cannot be either of these, quite simply, because if I were to go through the red door, then the yellow is correct, meaning two things are correct, so ignore those. I will not choose this door. And the door that you would choose leads to bacon. Okay, so with these being false, and this one probably also false, seems that way, the door that I will choose leads to bacon. This is correct. This one has to be the one, because only one of these things leads to bacon, so the door I choose leads to bacon. So, that means the other three are incorrect, and so, if this is false, I must go through the green door. Tree, oh, hello. Well, this is a thing. Where'd my puzzles go? Do not enter. <sighs> Welcome to the Stanley Parable, ladies and gentlemen. In case of fire, grab your bacon and run like heck! If you're reading this, everything is completely under control and there's no reason to worry. He sit quietly and wait for an attendant to take care of you. I can't push the bird sounds and ambiance button. This disappoints me. I can't zoom in and read that. Can't read that either. Subject evaluation. Are you currently using any medication? No. Do you dream in color? No. What is your favorite food? Bacon. Something, something, something. You hereby consent to any and all experiments provided by the operators of this facility. They are not responsible for any adverse effects you may experience, including, but not limited to, severe stress, something, loss of something, brain damage, uh, internal conflict or something, and death. Signed, the director. 
Cool. Anyway, happy Platypus Day, everybody! Security breach, operational, sim control power failure. Blah, 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 Warning, do not read signs, okay. I'm a rebel. Because I just read the sign. No! Please remain seated through the through the entirety of your duration. Our aim to keep, is to keep the bathroom clean. Your aim will help. Lovely. Attention, you are being monitored. Notice, please do not stare at the security cameras for longer than 20 seconds at a time, as this may cause them to feel insecure. As always, thank you for your cooperation. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oh! Oh ho ho! I knew it! <laughs> knew it would do something! Notice no spitting on this sign. And that is a room we should probably go to. I'm glad they followed up on that. That would have been boring otherwise. Oh ho, some kind of meeting room. Ignore this! What is it? I'm a rebel. I will not. Alright, I'm bored. Okay. Latest re-education releases. The director is pleased to welcome back the following members to active duty. Dr. Filbert, Dr. Melvin, Mr. Carey. Let us take a moment to recognize the director for his extreme sacrifice for his country and company. He has devoted the last 24 years of his life to oversee the progress of this operation. Thank you. Mm, I'm not sure how I feel about this place. Re-education facilities. In an inconsequential storage room. Well, I mean, that's okay, but... oh, What? Penguin firing practice? Don't shoot penguins! What do they do to you? Aha, the timeout corner. Try and sit down. If you should find yourself wondering where you are, stop. Do not formulate theories or ideas relating to where you are or why. Your memories have been deleted, as they are inconsequential. Please reflect on your failure to comply with these rules during your visit to the timeout corner, as they have been given to us by the director himself. Good to know. Important. Dr. Harvey, please re report to your education center ASAP. Dr. Harvey, I know you've been getting my messages. I'm waiting. Mr. Harvey, please kindly return to the re-education room swiftly. Special announcement. In honor of the new international holiday, Platypus Day, all staff are invited to a mandatory celebratory gathering in the brainstorming session room. We apologize for the short notice. However, we are grateful that you understand the fact that it is vital that all staff attend this harmful, harmless and cheerful gathering. Gathering. This harmful and cheerless gathering. New directive. The director has issued a new directive effective immediately. The director has deemed it necessary to terminate Dr. Philip Stevens from active duty on these premises. At this facility, we like to foster a comfortable, welcoming environment where everyone feels that their views are valued. In a hateful act of conflict, Dr. Stevens has attempted to undermine the values of the director. We believe the work we're doing here is vital to the success of this campaign, and Dr. Stevens has directly chosen to inhibit our progress by divulging sensitive security information to dangerous activists. These activists hate our work, our peace, and our unified ideologies. Please remain on high alert while this situation is resolved. We, wait to, we want to maintain positive relationships with all our personnel, even those who exhibit hatred toward our cause. As such, Dr. Stevens will be making his public apology on Thursday, after which he will be admitted to our award-winning re-education program. <sighs> Group brainstorm session rules. All opinions are welcome. No one should feel inferior. We are all created equal. Some of us have been created more equal than others. Thank you, pigs. All opinions are respected, so always remember to respect the director's views. 
Uh, thank you, Animal Farm. I'll be leaving now. Will you also explode if I stare at you? I'm gonna wait. So, anybody know any good jokes? Been up to anything fun lately? I've been playing video games. It's a good time. That was louder than I expected it to be. Experimental Sim. This is not where we started out. Is that blood? Warning, do not insert people into wood chipper unless provoked. <sighs> Welcome to Fargo. Happy Platypus Day. I wish I could read these, but I don't have any way to pick them up. That bothers me. It bothers me deeply. Yeah, I can't read any of that. It's too small! Turn on the bird sound as an ambiance. No farting? Alright, alright, fine game. I see where we're going. Onward to more simulation. Alright, let's see. Back to the puzzles. This is why we're here. Exactly, one door is correct. One leads to bacon. Three lead to death. Okay. Well, let's see. The correct door leads to bacon. Okay. You will choose this door. Okay. The red and blue doors both lead to death. This door leads to death. Well, I think actually we just go through the red door, right? So... If we don't choose that door, then it is false, and that's fine, but this still remains true. Well, actually, yeah, because we would go through that door, it would be the correct door, and we'd be safe. If the red and blue doors both lead to death, then this is incorrect, and this is incorrect. And then, well, I mean, actually, this would be incorrect, and this is correct. This can't be correct so we don't go through it. So, we go through the red door. <laughs> All right. Onto this bridge into the infinite abyss. What? All right then, boss fight time, clearly. Hey, here's his tonsils. <laughs> this looks like lots of information. Lots of doors! Why did the white stuff appear before the colors? That's weird. All right. Exactly two doors are correct. One leads to bacon. Four lead to death. So two things are correct, but only one gets me out of here. Either the yellow or green door leads to bacon. The red and green doors both lead to death. Probable. The yellow and purple doors are both incorrect. Okay. The door that leads to bacon is also correct. The red door leads to bacon. Okay. Let's see here. Kind of hard to have them all on screen at once. That's kind of weird. All right. So. 
it could be that the yellow and blue doors are correct. That could be possible. So, if yellow is correct, the red and green doors both lead to death. Okay, that's fine. The door that leads to bacon is also correct. That would be true in this case, so we would go through the yellow door. Possibly the blue door, actually, in either case. Alternatively, it could be that the red and purple doors are correct. Or actually, if the red door is incorrect, and purple is correct, Okay, so if purple is correct, what other doors could be correct? Red cannot be correct. Yellow cannot be correct. Green cannot be correct. And blue cannot be correct. Okay, so purple's out. Purple cannot be correct. Because there can't be any other correct doors. If red is correct, then either the yellow or green door leads to bacon. If red is correct and yellow leads to bacon, then red and green would both lead to death. The yellow and purple doors are both incorrect. That would be false. The door that leads to bacon is also correct. That would be true, though. Shoot. Oh, man. OK, this one's tough. Whew. Let's see. So we determined that purple cannot be correct. Let's try and keep going down the list. I'll, I'll come back to red. Too many, too many moving parts. I think blue is the kicker here. The door that leads to bacon is also correct. OK, fine. So which door is it then? If blue is correct, purple cannot be correct. We already know this. The yellow and purple doors are both incorrect. OK, we know purple is incorrect. Yellow being incorrect would be fine then. But then red is problematic because either yellow or green leads to bacon. OK, so I don't think blue can be correct. Because, hmm. Hmm. Because if blue is correct, purple cannot be correct. We knew that already. And just the logic loop of these does not allow for blue to be correct with them. OK.
That is a good point, actually. The green door must be correct because its opposite cannot be correct. That is true because it says both the yellow and the purple door are incorrect. We already know that purple is in fact incorrect, so therefore yellow is incorrect. So this one must be true. All right, cool. We're getting somewhere now. Thank you. That's a good idea. Um, so if green is true, then blue may in fact be true then. But which one to go to? I'm going to go for green. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, we got to do this whole walk again. Walk of shame. Walk of shame. Oh, wait. Duh. Okay. So if either green or if green and blue are correct, then red must also therefore be incorrect. So I can't go through green or yellow. So it has to be blue. That was the disturbing factor. My mistake there. Ah, well, it's too late. We're dead. And there's no running button. Ah, this is terrible. Let's go through the blue door. There. See? No, you were, you were correct about green. Because we already knew that purple must be false. Through deduction with that one. And now we're in the swamps. I would assume we're in Louisiana, but uh, these birds sound incorrect. Distinct lack of cicadas and such. <clears throat> All right, now we're on a pier. Let's see. The statements on each door are either both correct or both incorrect. Left refers to your left. So this way. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> the door directly to the right of this one is incorrect. There's only one statement. Okay. The door directly to the left of this one leads to death. It doesn't actually say if there's a specific number. Okay. The door directly to the right of this one is incorrect. So this one leads to death, and this one is incorrect. Okay. The door directly to the left of this one leads to death. The door directly to the right of this one is incorrect. Okay. And the door to the left of this one leads to death. Okay. So, let's see. So let's go through the logic of the two that have two statements. So, the door directly to the left of this one leads to death. And the door to the right of this one is incorrect. If this is true, this leads to death, and this one leads to bacon. To the left of this one leads to death. The right of this one is incorrect. Okay. And the door directly to the right of this one is incorrect. But it doesn't tell me what, what the rule is if there's only one statement. Hmm. I think I must assume that unless otherwise noted they are correct. 
So let's assume for a moment that the single statements are true. So if this door is incorrect, because this one is not contradicting it, then this is a lie. This one leads to bacon, and this one is a lie. Or, and this one is correct. If uh, this one leads to death, then we know that this says it's correct, and this one's incorrect. I don't bloody know. Hmm. Oh wow, you're up late, Specs. Sleep well. Sleep well. Hmm. Hmm. Logic. Logic puzzle. Hmm. 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 <laughs> I think the real problem here is it doesn't tell me what to do with the with the single statement doors. Like how do I know if these are not lying? Okay, so this is we'll just we'll just go from left to left to left to right. So this says this is incorrect. This says this is correct. This says this is incorrect. Okay, so if this is incorrect, the door to the left of this one leads to bacon. It is wrong. So that line of reasoning does not work. So, let us assume for a moment, then, that the opposite is true. Because I think we must. So, if you are false, then this leads to death, and this one's a lie. This one leads to bacon. This is correct. This leads to death. Yellow. All right, then. It's kind of frustrating, but... Uh, okay, fine. I'll take it. Exactly two doors are correct. You will choose a correct door. This door leads to death, and the door, the door that leads to bacon is incorrect. Okay. Red and blue are incompatible. So, green cannot be correct. Because if two doors must be correct, and this one is correct, I'm sorry, let's back up a step. I said that wrong. Green must be correct because then it leaves the two contradicting doors. So, green must be correct. Therefore, either red or blue is incorrect. I believe I should go with red because the door that leads to bacon is incorrect would mean I go with a false door. So if I went through it, then it'd be false. Red be true. Or if blue is true, 
we go through green, but then that's incorrect, and red must be true, and they don't work. So we it's red. Cool. I am sorry about... Oh, there's new door types. What? Exactly two doors are correct. Does this matter? Hmm. A red door leads to bacon. Great! The square door is correct. A circle door leads to bacon. Exactly two doors are correct. So... These two cannot be correct together. Red door leads to bacon, and the square door is correct, can be correct together. A red door leads to bacon, and a circle door leads to bacon, can also be correct. Oh, wait, hold on. It says the square door is correct, not that the square door leads to bacon. So... Okay, so let's step back then. If these two are correct, a square door is correct and a circle door leads to bacon, then this is false and we go through the blue door. If these two are correct, then this is also correct and that doesn't work. If a red door leads to bacon and a circle door leads to bacon, then this one's correct. Or this one's incorrect, and we just go through here. I see votes for blue door. All right, let's go through blue door. Good job, guys. Whoa. Whoa! Okay. Exactly one door of each color is correct. Exactly one door of each shape is correct. Well then, in that case, we don't even need to read these. One of each color is correct, so this green one must be correct. In that case... Since this cannot be correct, this is correct. And since that cannot be correct, this is correct. So, this door leads to death. This door leads to death. This door leads to death. All right, so those are all correct. That is false, that does not lead to bacon. And this is false. That one was not bad at all, actually. That was super easy. All right, exactly two doors are correct. Great. Jeez, do we have six now? No, there's just five. I'm bad at counting. All right. This door leads to bacon. A circle door leads to bacon. A triangular door is correct. The blue door leads to bacon. A correct door leads to bacon. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, man. I feel like I should get a pen and paper for this one, almost. I kind of want to do that at this point. Huh. Okay. So two of these are correct. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to write them down because this is a little tough to follow. All right. This door leads to bacon. Where a 
circle door leads to bacon. I think I might not even have to need, need to do this actually. A triangular door. Actually, yeah. So, wait, no. Shoot, never mind. I thought I had it, and then, then I didn't. A uh, red triangle. The blue door leads to bacon, and purple is the cor a correct door leads to bacon. Oh, this one's rough. Okay. So we have this door leads to bacon, a circle door leads to bacon, a triangular door is correct, the blue door leads to bacon, and a correct door leads to bacon. So. We basically have to narrow it down to which one of these eliminates the others, except for one. So, this door leads to bacon. If true, doesn't matter, or may or may not, is correct. may or may not, is correct. So it cannot be yellow. Yellow cannot be correct. Because if so, then these two are both correct. If a circle door leads to bacon, then a triangular door is correct. Doesn't matter. The blue door leads to bacon. That is correct. A correct door leads to bacon. Aha! We may be getting somewhere here then. Oh, hold on. So... If a circle door leads to bacon, and triangle could be correct in that case, meaning this one is also correct, so that one is out. Okay, but if both of these are incorrect and a correct door leads to bacon, it could be purple. That is possible. All right, let's try it. Yes! So we didn't actually need to write that one down. Cool. Ah, there's more. There's five of them. Exactly one door is correct. Okay, that's a little bit easier, I think. So, the square door is correct. The red door leads to bacon. The correct door leads to bacon. This door leads to bacon. And a circle door leads to bacon. All right.
Hmm. More beer. No, Crafty, this is not Firewatch. We finished Firewatch. We are trying to cool down with crazy freaking logic puzzles. Uh, and it would not allow me to switch to doors. That's not a game on Twitch, apparently. All right, so let's see. If you are true, then this is false. This is false. Oh, wait. Oh, that's correct. So the square door cannot be correct, because if it is, then at the same time this one is correct, that doesn't work. In the same way, this cannot be correct, because that one would in turn also have to be correct. And there is only one correct door. So a circle does not lead to bacon. Or at least, yeah. But in that case, so let's see. Let's say, for example, that uh, this one is correct. I think this might actually be it. This is incorrect. That is incorrect. This is incorrect. And this is incorrect. So that can mean that this one is correct. And we go through here. Sweet. Oh. Five more. Exactly three doors are correct. Okay. Let's see. The green door leads to bacon. Both blue doors lead to death. Exactly one red door is correct. The square door leads to death. And you will choose an incorrect red door. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, what's a broken down house over here? Can I explore this? No. It's just a black blob with which I can do nothing. So that's wonderful. How far out can I go this time, though? Stormly doesn't let me. I'm hitting the edge. All right, anyway. All right, so let's see. So three things are correct. Ah, okay. Man. Ah, factorials, Jesus. What's this, five factorial three? Sucks. I'm probably saying that totally wrong. Um, anyway. Green door leads to bacon. Both blue doors lead to death. If correct, then obviously that cannot be correct, and this could be correct, and that would be false. So, that could actually work then. That would mean three doors are correct. Wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Sweet. Oh. Okay, we're way up here. This is a weird angle. Exactly two doors are correct. Who wants to be a soldier in your army, Night Fox? Well, that comm seems all right to be in. I want to be a general. All right, let's see. Let's just move this thing. Yeah. All right. Cool. Where were we? A blue door leads to bacon. 
both doors adjacent to this one lead to death. Oh, fun. Oh, oh, it says a blue door, a blue door. Okay. Both triangle doors are incorrect. Possible. Both circle doors lead to death. And a, a correct door leads to bacon. Okay. So, let us start with this premise. A correct door leads to bacon. This is likely, as usually that's how the puzzle goes. If so, then... Shoot. That could be true. That's fine. Um, if both doors adjacent to this one lead to death, then a blue door does not lead to bacon, and both triangle doors are, are correct. Wait. Yeah, because only two things can be correct. And the opposite of this statement is that Wait, does it have to be that both are correct? Is it just a straight two-false flip there, or could it be that one is correct? Hmm. I'm not sure how that works. Okay, so let's assume then that the triangles are correct, just because that's easy. If so, this is incorrect, obviously. A blue door does not lead to bacon. Both of these are broken. Both circles lead to death, right? And a correct door does not lead to bacon. That kind of eliminates all the doors I can go to. Because if I cannot go to a correct door, then I can't go to any circles. I can't go through a blue door. Wait, hold on. Okay, so if I cannot go through a correct door, then I can't go through circles. I can't go through the square. And I can't go through the triangles because they're correct. <sighs> All right. So let's, let's go back to our premise that this is true because... I have to go through a correct door. Otherwise, this is screwy. Hmm. If that is true, and this is true, a blue door leads to bacon. In which case, this is false. These don't necessarily lead to death. Oh, but you have to be telling them that they're correct then. Green says both triangles are incorrect. Okay. So let's assume red and green are correct then. So both circles lead to death would be false. 
the adjacent ones leading to death would also be false. And a blue door leading to bacon would be false. So it could be either the green or the red. That's fine. It doesn't say only one door leads to success. So... Well, that happened. Let's just assume, yeah. I should have just gone with that the first thing. A correct door leads to bacon, so. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, dear. Exactly one color of door is correct. If a door is correct, all doors of that same color are correct. If a door is incorrect, all doors of that same color are incorrect. Exactly one door leads to bacon. How many bloody doors are there? Two, three, four, five, six rows of doors? Can I just keep going? I don't think I'm moving. Nope. What if I go from behind? What happens? Okay. <laughs> well, that happened. Now we know. Wasn't sure if going into a door backwards would do anything. All right, so let's see. So one color of door is correct. At least they're all lined up. All circles, triangles, and red squares lead to death. A blue square leads to bacon. All green doors and yellow squares lead to death. A blue triangle leads to bacon. Now hold on. A blue square leads to bacon. Either, oh, hold on, hold on. I think we can just stop right there. Right, only one door. Oh! Apparently you can go through the side as well. All right. Yeah, exactly one door leads to bacon. So, we can ignore the red side now, because those two contradict. A blue door leads to bacon. Either a blue, yellow, or red door leads to bacon. That does not technically contradict, because it's an or statement. Exactly three triangle doors are correct. There are two triangle doors in this color, and only one color can be correct. So yellow is out. Right? Yeah, okay. Either a yellow or green door leads to bacon. All purple triangles lead to death, okay? A circle door leads to bacon. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Both doors adjacent, left or right, to this one lead to death. Okay. All yellow squares lead to death. All yellow triangles and purple squares lead to death. Okay. 
I don't think green directly contradicts itself in any way. A purple square leads to bacon. A door adjacent, left or the right to this one, leads to bacon. All in an incorrect door leads to bacon. Hmm. A yellow door leads to bacon. All red, yellow, and blue circles leads to death. A red square leads to bacon. Okay, so blue is all incorrect because these blue ones, or those two, are pointing to different bacon doors. However, we know now that a correct door will lead to bacon because this one is incorrect. Okay, that's handy. So green may be correct. Red, yellow, and blue are incorrect. A purple door leads to bacon. A purple door, all purple doors are correct. Okay. Either a blue triangle or a yellow triangle leads to bacon. Hmm. Nope. All right. So purple is out. Excuse me. So it must be something in green. All right, so we're narrowing them down. Cool. Either a yellow or green door leads to bacon. We know it must be a green door. All purple triangles lead to death. Yep. A circle door leads to bacon. Okay. Both doors, left or right of this one, lead to death. All yellow squares lead to death. And all yellow triangles and purple squares lead to death. Yep. All right. These are accurate things to say. So, now, if a circle door leads to bacon, is it this one, all yellow squares lead to death, or all purple triangles lead to death? Well, let's see. So there have been some things that talk about adjacent stuff. A door adjacent to this one leads to bacon. We know this to be false, so it must be this circle door back here. Bam! Got it! Oh, that felt good. Took a while, but that felt good. We're back to two. Bacon is wonderful, and bacon is not wonderful. Well, this does not prove much of anything, but we know one. We know only one of these to be true. Did we just finish the game? Will there be bacon? I hope there's bacon. Success! Great success! Achievement unlocked. Doors. <laughs> oh. 
Admin, are you there? You're not cleared to use this network. The subjects aren't responding well. So... They always find out it's not real. So I've heard. What are you going to do? We have plans to start over. New compounds, new staff, new simulations. The subjects won't cooperate if they know they're being forced. We have to sell the simulations. Make them think they want to play. Ah, too late. It's here. Goodbye. Wait, what about us? What do you want us to... Okay, well, I don't really think the story element of it was necessary, but um, yeah, this was this is a good game for four bucks. I'm down. I'm down to clown. Sure, sounds good. <laughs> My only real complaint, other than that story bit in the game, is that there's no control for the sound. Oh my god, it's loud. Please, let me turn down the sound. Till next time, folks. I've been Gin, and you have been watching me play a video game. Y'all have a great night, alright?